Tian Pengfei, Chinese, born August 16, 1987, is a Chinese professional snooker player. He began his career by playing the Challenge Tour in 2004, at the time the second-level professional tour. Tian played on the main tour in 2006 and competed on the World Snooker Tour for two seasons until he dropped off in 2008. During this period, he served a one-year ban for sexual harassment. In 2010, he won his first professional title, the Beijing International Challenge, and returned to the main tour the following year. Tian first competed on the main tour in the 2006-07 season, dropping off the tour in the following season. During the season, Tian also received a one-year ban from China's Q Sports Administration, following an investigation into allegations that he had sexually abused and beaten his fellow teammate, Zhang Meng Meng, at the Doha Asian Games in 2006. As a wildcard, Tian defeated Ronnie O'Sullivan 5-3 in the last 32 of the 2010 China Open at the Students' University Stadium in Beijing. In an astonishing finish to the match, O'Sullivan missed a simple final black off at spot which would have leveled the score at 4-4. He also recorded some impressive victories in the Wuxi Classic by beating Mark Selby 5-3 and Joe Perry 5-1 before being whitewashed 6-0 by Ding Junhui. Despite these results, he was not awarded a wild card by World Snooker to compete on the main tour. The next professional tournament he competed in was the Beijing International Challenge. In the group stages he recorded wins over Stephen Hendry and Stephen Maguire before beating Liang Wenba 6-4 and Ryan Day 9-3 to win the title. Tian qualified for the 2011-12 main tour as a semi-finalist from the second Q school event. As an unranked player, Tian would need to win four matches to qualify for the main draw of the ranking event tournaments. He failed to do this throughout the season, coming closest in his first event, the Australian Goldfields Open. He won his first two matches against Aditya Mehta and Anthony McGill, making three centuries in a 5-1 win before being given a buy into the final qualifying round due to the withdrawal of Anthony Hamilton. In the final round Tian lost 4-5 to Mark Davis. Tian finished the year ranked world number 78, out of the top 64 who guaranteed their places for the 2012-13 season. However, he was awarded the first nomination from the Chinese national governing body for a spot on the tour, guaranteeing him entry into all the ranking event qualifiers in the upcoming season. Tian could not qualify for the main draw of any of the ranking events during the season. However, he had a very good season in the minor ranking players tour championship events. At the second European tour event he won four matches which included a last 16 triumph over top 16 player Stuart Bingham to reach the quarterfinals, where he was whitewashed 0-4 by Neil Robertson. Tian went one better at the sixth European Tour event with wins over the likes of Jamie Burnett, Mark Davis, and Martin Gould in the quarterfinals to advance to the semis. There he lost 2-4 to, to Mark Selby, but finished a lofty 30th on the PTC Order of Merit, just outside the top 26 who qualified for the finals. Tian's season ended when he was beaten 7-10 by Jimmy White in the second round of World Championship qualifying, to finish the campaign ranked world number 70. In his opening match, Tian defeated Luca Bressel 5-3 to qualify for the 2013 Wuxi Classic in China where he was whitewashed 5-0 by Jack Lasowski in the first round. He then lost in the qualifying rounds for three successive events, but reached the first round of the international championship with a 6-0 thrashing of Alexander Rissenbacher. He faced Mark Allen and was beaten 6-1. Tian edged past Michael Wassley 5-4 to play in the German Masters where he matched the best performance in a ranking event of his career. He saw off Andrew Higginson 5-3 in the first round and then recorded the finest result of his career so far by beating world number one Neil Robertson 5-1. His last 16 match against Rod Lawler went to the colors in the deciding frame with Lawler potting the brown, blue and pink to win 5-4. Tian was eliminated in the first round of the World Open by Graham Dot and went a stage further at the China Open, but lost 5-3 against Mike Dunn. He ended the season ranked world number 66, falling just short of the top 64 who remain on tour. Tian entered Q School and won a two-year tour card for the 2014-15 and 2015-16 seasons in the first event, whitewashing Eden Sharaf 4-0 in his final match. Tian beat Ronnie O'Sullivan 4-2 to reach the quarterfinals of the Paul Hunter Classic, where he lost 4-3 to Judd Trunt from 3-2 up. 
He was knocked out at the same stage of the Haining City Open 4-2 by Jimmy Robertson. Tian lost 6-3 in the first round of the UK Championship and won his first ranking event match of the season 4-2 against Tom Ford at the Welsh Open. He was beaten 4-1 by Luca Bressel in the second round. A pair of 4-1 victories set up Tian's best run in a ranking event this year at the Indian Open, but he was thrashed 4-0 by Ricky Walden in the last 16. Tian defeated Napon Senkum and Udelu both 5-1 and Matthew Stevens 5-0 to play in the final qualifying round of the 2015 Shanghai Masters, losing 5-4 to Mark Davis. He eliminated reigning champion Sean Murphy 4-1 to reach the quarterfinals of the rear open and then edged past Alan McManus and David Gilbert to progress through to his first professional final. Tian made a 106 break to trail Rory McLeod 3-2, but lost the next frame to finish as the event's runner-up. Wins over Chao Yupeng and Aliang Wen Basahim reached the third round of the international championship, where he lost 6 to 1 to Mark Dolan. He exited the UK championship 6 to 2 to John Higgins in the second round. Tian's final earlier in the season ensured that he made his first appearance in the PTC finals, but he lost 4 to 1 to Robert Milkins in the first round. At the China Open, he defeated Barry Hawkins 5 to 4 and Michael Holt 5 to 2 to play Ricky Walden in the third round. Tian scored breaks of 87 and 64 to send the match into a deciding frame in which he led 41 to 0, but he would go on to lose. Tian is still looking for his debut at the World Championship after he lost 10 to 7 to Jose and Vafiai in the opening round of qualifying. However, his ranking rose by 34 places to end the season at a career high 48th in the world. Tian lost 4-3 to Matthew Stevens in the second round of the Riga Masters after thrashing Alan Taylor 4-0. A string of qualifying defeats and first-round exits followed until the Welsh Open in February 2017 where he overcame Chen Zhe 4-2, before losing 4-0 to Barry Hawkins in the second round. Tian's deepest run of the year was at the China Open, where wins over Anthony Miguel and Martin Gould took him into the last 16. He was defeated 5-3 by Judd Trump. in the World Championship qualifiers. Tian beat compatriot Zhang Yun 10-4 before an epic match against Fergal O'Brien. In the deciding frame Tian successfully obtained three snookers before missing a difficult final pink, allowing O'Brien to win the match 10-9. That last frame took around 90 minutes and the match finished at 2.30 a.m. Tian's best result came in the Northern Ireland Open, where he beat Sohail Vahidi, Mark Allen, Nathan Senkum, and Chris Wackelin to reach his first ranking quarterfinal but he lost narrowly to teenage compatriot Liu Haoshin 5-4. In the World Championship qualifiers, Tian scored a memorable win over Yun Bingtao, but then lost badly to Chris Wackelin in the final qualifying match. Tian reached two more quarterfinals at the European Masters, where he beat Judd Trump and the Gibraltar Open. In the World Championship qualifiers, Tian beat Sohail Vahidi, Ryan Day, and Matthew Stevens to reach the Crucible for the first time. There, he played Stephen Maguire and appeared to have won the match when he led 9-7 with his opponent needing a snooker. However, Maguire got the snooker, fluted the blue, won the frame and eventually the match 10-9. With wins over Gerard Green, Alan McManus, Dominic Dale, and Si Jiangwei, Tian reached the quarter-final of the English Open, but lost 5-0 to Tom Ford. Tian is known as one of the most approachable players on the tour. He speaks excellent English and has occasionally helped with interpretation at press conferences, notably in the 2017 Northern Ireland Open where he assisted several Chinese players, including Liu Haoshan, despite Liu having beaten him in their quarter-final match.